Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we have a very exciting one. Um, we have the LeBron 21, I guess you could say first impression review because I have not worn them yet, but I will probably make an update video in the future once I have worn them a good amount. But these are just first impressions and I have worn them a good amount in store so I know the basics of what they feel like. So yeah, just got these today. They are on sale right now for, um, I believe, $155 on the uh, Nike website. So yeah, that is a pretty good price for, um, for this shoe. I think it's a very good performing shoe. So yeah, here's the box. I always thought this box was pretty nice looking. So does the wrapping paper. Here we are. <laughs> These look so cool. So they come with um, these other pair of laces. Um, I personally like the laces that are already on it better, but I guess you can switch these on. I'm not sure if these are longer than the laces that are on right now, because these are pretty short laces. Um, like it's, if you wanna, double tie your laces on your basketball shoes. It's gonna be pretty hard to do that with these, I think, um, but definitely doable. So yeah, this is like the crimson red colorway, as I like to call it. I was stuck for a while. I was stuck between this colorway and, you know what it's called, it's, it's, the, it's the mismatched one. But I ended up going with these and I'm happy with my choice. So yeah, let's start off with the traction. And I have also um, watched many shoe reviews on these, so I can also, I also have their opinions on these to use for this as well. So traction, I mean, just feeling it, it feels really like it has good grip. Has a, like a little sticky feeling to it. Yeah, I think the it's similar to the LeBron 20s. Um, so I know those are really good for traction. Um, and I'm pretty sure these are gonna be really good too. Similar pattern. Um, don't think you're gonna be slipping at all on these. I don't know how the dust pickup on these are. Yeah, probably shouldn't be too hard of a wipe either way just because of how far apart most of the grooves are. So yeah, and then just walking around in store, multiple stores floors with these, they've like, I can feel the, I can feel the grip on the store floor while wearing these. So I know the traction's gonna be good on these. Um, rubber feels pretty durable, I'd say, not too durable. Um, I think these are definitely more of an indoor shoe, but I mean, I guess if you really wanted to, you could wear these on outdoor courts. Um, I probably wouldn't though, just because these are like normally $200 shoes. Um, but yeah, moving on to the cushion. I think the cushion is another one of this shoe's greatest features. Yeah, I always like a basketball shoe that has a lot of cushion uh, because I have, I can get some ankle pain pretty often while playing basketball or any other sports. So just wearing these in stores and hearing uh, other people, what other people have had to say, uh, they seem really good. So as you can see, air zoom right there. I'm not sure if that's throughout the whole shoe, I think it is, and yeah, a, just pushing on it here, a decent amount of compression. It is not caged, so you're gonna get some good compression in the heel. And then that goes, that same stuff goes throughout the whole shoe here. So even in the middle, same stuff. Over here, same stuff. So yeah, cushion feels great on this. The 
they feel like they can be broken in a bit with the materials and the cushion a bit but i'd be very surprised if the cushion got bad at these after wearing them for a while so yeah i think cushion out of 10 i will give it a eight at least for now i still have to wear them on the court while playing but just from what i've seen so far really good going on to the upper and the upper materials we have this like feels kind of plasticky let me take this out here's a little plasticky definitely synthetic um but feels pretty durable doesn't feel i mean you're not going to get much airflow with this i mean you got some holes there on the sides and then the tongue eh a, a, a little through the tongue i'd say but besides that not gonna get a lot of airflow so probably another reason these aren't great for outdoor courts especially in the summer but it feels pretty durable it doesn't feel like this material is going to be falling apart anytime soon um yeah this hard plastic nike symbol here um and i don't think that's gonna bother you at all while wearing this just to add that in and the heel actually it's a little softer here feels a little more rubbery i'd say like a rubbery plastic so not sure if that's there for heel containment or heel support um and then you have this nice like knit material here and i know some of the other lebron 21s have more of a knit material throughout so yeah, materials feel durable for the upper. Um, for the tongue, not a ton of padding, like just at the top here. But on the inside, you have all of this, which is crazy. I've never seen this on a shoe before, but just feeling it with my fingers feels really nice. I've worn them a bit on foot and no issues there. Um, kind of see the inside. So yeah, tongue feels pretty nice. It's got kind of got this like leathery feel on the front too. And um, it wraps to your foot pretty well. And then the sides, it feels really cushiony on the sides, which is really nice. Yeah, kind of like this bumpy feel to it, but like bumpy in a good way, like bumpy cushion. And then more <laughs> cushion in the heel. That feels really nice. So yeah, the materials all around, really good. I will give them a nine. Damn! I'm assuming these are gonna hold up really well. Um, like I said, I'll, I might make a follow-up video after I wear these for a while, but right now, materials feel great. Laces look sick too. But like I said, laces are a little short for basketball shoes, but I think you'll still be fine. Heel to toe transition. You have not a curved, curved shape. It's more of like a diagonal line there in the heel. And then you have a, let me just test this. Not, I mean, a, a, de a decent um, curve in the front there. Nothing substantial for curvature in the back and in the front. So, where just walking around in stores it didn't feel great for just walking comfort and heel to toe but that's where i was saying like it feels like they still can be broken in a lot and i think when you do that it's going to feel a lot smoother um when walking or running up and down the court so at least for right now, I'm going to give it um, a 6, maybe 6.5, but I, I feel like they can be broken in and then it's going to be a lot better. For the inner cushioning setup, but just pushing down um, a decent amount of cushion and spring in the heel and kind of the same throughout the shoe. Like compared to 
the other shoes I've done reviews on, these feel like they have a little more cushion just in the insole there. So yeah, pretty nice. For the lockdown and support, um, I think you are going to be fine with these. Um, as you can see, it comes out a little here in the outsole area. So yeah, uh, wearing them in stores, um, my foot felt very secure. And also because there's a lot of nice cushioning on the sides and in the heel. So I think you're gonna be good with that. Also, there's all this extra material in the heel. Um, and the material doesn't like stretch at all. So it's gonna also help you feel secure. So yeah, containment is great. I'll give it an eight. <laughs> Didn't mean to rhyme there. So yeah, I think that's gonna be it for the review, initial review. Um, if this does well, I will make a follow-up after I've worn it for a while. I probably will anyways, to be honest. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you all later. Bye.